quick disclaimer before this video starts. Um, I have changed the way that I um, actually record the videos, um, which had an effect on my audio uh, and the way that records, um, which meant that the desktop audio slash the sim audio and the mic uh, audio got, the tracks got combined, which means when I came to edit the video that I couldn't actually um, change the volumes of each independently. They were all as one. Uh, I have fixed this, but I can't re-record the video because um, it comes out in about five hours and I do not have time to um, re-record, edit, uh, render, uh, upload in that short time. So I do apologise. Um, this will be sorted out for the next video. In fact, I have sorted out now. Um, but when I recorded the video, I didn't realize that would be a problem. It shouldn't have been because I've used this before um, And it was never a problem then But it is what it is um, Anyway, I hope you still enjoy the video uh, again. I'm sorry about the audio, but it is fixed now for the um, foreseeable future uh, Anyway, enjoy the video Hello everyone, I'm Tina Blade. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a, uh, another piece of D version 5 video and welcome to the FS Labs A321 SL uh, first time with the shark on the channel and uh, actually first time in the uh, 320 watt or anything other than the 320 um, which is quite nice something a bit different and today we are in Zurich uh, we are of course in the Swiss livery uh, as you can probably tell <laughs> And uh, we are going to be taking this down to Malaga. Um, I, it's going to take about 2 hours and 12 minutes uh, airtime today. And uh, a block, probably about 2 hours 40 with, uh, when you consider the taxi times at both areas. It's a pretty simple route. We basically head on a uh, westerly heading out of Zurich and then we uh, cross into France and then basically go southwest and then we reach Barcelona and then we kind of just turn more west and then we reach Malaga. It's a really simple route. Um, we are on Vatsim, although there is literally nobody around considering it's um, half three on a Friday so I'm not too uh, surprised. Um, and as you can actually see we are already loading our fuel that's uh, purely because it takes a long time to uh, load the amount of fuel for this kind of flight. So the aircraft is powered on, which is why it's actually a bit louder than it normally would be at this point. Uh, normally I start up from cold and dark. I like to start from cold and dark, um, but I have had to load up the uh, power on. I say load up. Turn the power on and uh, I had to initialize the A cars to get the fuel truck. Because um, it does take a while. It's, we're taking... Um, 9.7 tons of fuel. That's a lot. Uh, we're going to burn 6.1, but we need um, enough for our alternate today. Um, speaking of which, our alternate is LEZL, which is Seville. Um, and to get there, that'll take us uh, about 30 minutes. So those of you who care about the weights, uh, we have a zero fuel weight of 65 tons today, which is well under max. Around, uh, uh, 12, gee. Uh, we are about eight tons under, which is uh, really, it means we're quite light, really. 147 passengers, which is again well below what um, 321 could take. We'll take a lot more. We're taking runway 28 today out of uh, Zurich, which is. Not far, in fact it's the runway right behind us, that one there, uh, which is quite short, which means that we are going to have to uh, probably use flaps to packs off to get off, considering how heavy we are in terms of fuel and stuff like that, but uh, it is what it is. Anyway, um, as you see the fueling's on the way, so uh, we can come into the uh, flight deck. It, has actually, it was raining um, just before I started recording. Uh, but that has since stopped, as you can probably tell. Um, but yeah, as I said, I turned on the power and then loaded A cars just to uh, get 
the fuel going. We're already at 5.1 tons, which is good. But when it comes to the overhead panel now, so we've put the crew supply, ground control, pop the packs on. We'll warm it up a bit. I think it's quite cold, actually. Uh, oh, it doesn't say because we've not got the IRSs aligned. Uh, I can check the met, are they? Uh, 12 degrees. That's quite warm. Um, we'll put the no smoking onto auto, align the IRSs, and uh, that can come on like so. We'll come down here and we'll check the messages received. So that's our slot notification. Zurich to Malaga, uh, we should be departing by, uh, well we should be off the blocks by 11 and then uh, the takeoff time should be 20 minutes after that which is easily achievable. That's the load sheet, 0 for 8, 65 uh, tons. So that is all okay. Um, so as I said, I had to initialize the A cars, which means that the route has been loaded. Um, that cruise level is wrong though, and it's 370. There we go. Cost index, let me check what was, um, what do, um, Swiss use, let me have a quick look. Uh, let me check the database. This is a very handy, uh, the Toga Project's cost index database. It has most airlines. Uh, Swiss, here we go, A32X. So, higher than 290, 20. That's our cost index today. There we go. Uh, we can come here and we can get boarding going. Uh, catering I did as well before I started recording because GSX doesn't like it when you do both sometimes. So, I decided to do. Um, separately, which meant you can't see the catering. Otherwise, it would take absolutely boarding ages requested. to do everything. So we'll request boarding, 147, that's okay. Uh, we'll get the weather, uh, although I have seen what the weather uh, really looks like. Uh, we'll come to the n next page, actually no, we want to go to the wind, request them, and then we'll go to the next page, like so. Then we come to the load sheets. Crew boarding starting. <coughs> 65 tons with uh, a 0 fuel weight CG of uh, 33.5. Block fuel, as I said, was 9.8 or around that kind of figure. There we go. And because the FS Labs connects to CBDLC so brilliantly, the route is already in. Uh, what can we do? Check the weather. So. Winds are 300 at 5, um, scattered, 4,000, 3,500, broken, uh, 5,000 that is. Um, temperature 12 degrees, 2.7, QNH1029, and that should already be in there, which it is. Brilliant. Um, so let me check Navigraph then. So, we are on... Your crew has boarded. Passengers boarding starting. One Yankee departure. Out of runway 28. Um, Vebit, uh, Yankee, that's the one. We can have a look at that. Put that onto plan. Constraints, VORs, and put airports on this side. Uh, let's have a quick look at that. Uh, it's quite a simple route, as I said. Basically, kind of uh, straight over into France, and then it's just kind of southwest until we reach um, Malaga. And then we'll plan an arrival when, we, uh, when we're in the air. Because things change quite a lot, especially on uh, a bit of a longer flight like this. Change. Uh, Squawk is 2000 already, and we'll put terrain on the right hand side. And of course, because we're in the SL, well, actually, the normal variants now of the FS Labs have a tablet, but um, what was an exclusive feature of the SL, which it isn't anymore, uh, is the tablet. Uh, of course, we're in LSZH, which is Zurich. Uh, want to do flex, that should be uh, good. No need for anti eyes. Comfort optimum, air conditioner will leave off for now. Uh, we'll use runway 28 to be full length calculate that, see what it comes back with. Um, config 3, that's quite common it comes back with. Uh, I do Toga, I'm just interested. Yeah, no. 
Let's change it so it's conflict. That's not really. There we go. Let's change it. So it's conflict two. Uh, there you go. Uh, that's in meters, I believe. Let's do toga. Conflict 2, that should easily get us off the runway. I think. Uh, no, but that, that's giving me uh, an alright figure, so we should be alright. Flex 56, Conflict 2. You know what, we'll roll with that. So we'll go 56. Click and then don't do anything. 56, config 2, 0.6, 0 0.6 down. 0 0.6 down. Then we can, if it work, put the speeds in and they will somewhat match with these ones, which they do. Uh, exactly. Um, what else do we need to do? We need to put in some fix rings, so we'll put um, some around Zurich. I hate the click spots sometimes with this aircraft. Let's do 5 mile and a uh, 10 mile. Uh, just so it's nice to kind of gauge whereabouts we are on departure. And then uh, we'll put uh, around our alternate uh, L, E, and Z, L. We'll do a 50 and a 100. This is a no smoking Thank you. And then that's that. And then we'll put it back on the uh, performance page like so. Fueling is about to finish. Uh, Buck break stay on, there's no point in turning it off now. Uh, yeah, even though we've got shocks. And then Hello. that's most of the stuff in here. So we're just waiting for the fuel to finish, then we can send that off to the company. Uh, how many passengers have we done? 73, so they're nearly done as well. Irises are about to align. Um, so once the fueling has finished, uh, these two will come up and um, begin loading the cargo. And that will be uh, on our way, hopefully. Um, but that's probably going to take a few minutes. Ooh, and there's the person loaded in, I wonder who that is. Oh, and you can see that the IRSs have aligned as well, which is good. Um, yeah, let me check who that person is. Uh, that is... Uh, ITY. Is that uh, meant to be ITA? L-I-R-F. I'm guessing it's meant to be ITA. Oh no, what's that, um, the other airline, I can't remember what it's called, in, within Italy. Oh, I don't know. Oh well. Um, yeah, okay. Um, refueling has just finished, so we've put the seatbelts on, and uh, we'll get the APU going now, just so we get uh, air conditioning. Uh, put the master switch on, and you can just see it's come through there. 9109 is the other link, and uh, we can set that off. Just wait for the flap to open. And we can put the starter on, like so. So, because we've got uh, a little bit to wait, uh, I'll sit through boarding, uh, and then I will see you just before boarding, or just as boarding finishes, uh, before we uh, get pushed back. I'll see you then. Welcome back. Uh, boarding has just finished. Uh, trucks are just driving away. Uh, APU is running, so we can get rid of external power now. Put the beacon light on. Um, we can now come to the tablet, and uh, we'll go to connections. We'll close the forward cabin door. Uh, wait for that to close on there. Uh, there it is. 
and then we can uh, click request jetway and then it, uh, we can undock it just like that. Um, bug brake is set, we'll lock the cockpit door now. And we'll uh, click on here and we'll go request pushback. Uh, so they're just waiting to do the, the jetway now. Um, speaker light is on. Um, company message, that'll be the final load sheet, which means that we can go. Two extra passengers came on. Uh, so we can quickly accept that and we'll uh, put this on the flight plan page. Uh, as I said, we're on VATSIM, so that's Unicom already programmed in. Uh, bring that to all. Uh, no, that's all good at the moment. Um, and then we can leave that on the takeoff page for the moment. He will connect up to the aircraft now. Should do at least. Got the parking brake set. And. Um, Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. Yeah, APs are running. Initial climb was 7,000 today. I just had a look at the departure chart. Um, very easy departure. Basically, take off at about uh, three or four miles. Departure check completed. Life has been inserted. Uh, you turn left uh, and then follow that path pretty much. And then at the end of the departure at Vebit, it's then over route. Um, which you can actually just see there. And that's where you turn right. Uh, pretty simple. Nothing too difficult. Um, what to do? Nose left. Looking gear. So let me have a look at this chart then. Quite simple. Pushing back to the left, um, which means then taxi uh, on what is known as taxiway inner here, and then uh, basically along outer, and then Alpha One, and taking off at two eight. That's pretty much it, really. Um, yeah, so he will connect up, and we can actually just announce on that. So we're pushing. Release parking brakes. And, uh, um, so Zero traffic, Swiss Air 79, whiskey, push back, stand alpha 49. Um, so Release parking brakes. So he's shouting at us. Release Commencing the parking brakes. Push. Stop the clock. All engines clear. Start at will. Uh, we'll get the weather radar on now that we're pushing. Ignition start. Uh, starting engine number two. So I think someone's just taking off. I think. Well, the the person next to us, I think, is just already taking off. I believe. Uh, yeah, that makes most sense. But primarily for your safety. So they're doing the safety uh, briefing. I had a problem. I was trying to put um, a Swiss safety briefing in, but uh, and I did the same with like um, Brussels Airlines and all of them. It just doesn't work. I can never get the different airlines. It's really annoying. Uh, I don't understand. Uh, it's starting engine one. I mean, I had a look online to try and see the problem. I got a multitude of different solutions. Tried them, nothing worked. Set parking brakes. Parking brake sets. Cockpit to ground. Good engine start. You can disconnect. Yeah, starting engine one. Locking gear. Ooh, that's what first. Jesus. N2 is rising. EGT will uh, begin climbing quite quickly. And then the N1 percentage is also rising. Wanting for us nice stable 18.9 and 1 or 59.9 and 2. There you go, tra power's been transferred. Engine 1 is available and the grey box even has gone, which means that we can uh, put that back to normal now. Which means we can get rid of the APU. And we can set so flaps is connected. to spoilers armed. Pull on each side to adjust. Left is clear, right we'll is clear. Yeah, flight control page. And we'll set down 0 0.6. And we can go full left, full right, full up, full down, rudder left, and rudder right. Neutral flight controls are all good. Auto brake max. 
uh, taxi lights, turn off lights. Now I'm going to do uh, take off config. And uh, let's get taxiing. This is the holding point, uh, Alpha 1, so we can get the uh, lane lights, uh, takeoff lights, strobes, and we'll get uh, T cast going. And then we'll uh, announce. Is there a traffic Swiss Air 79 Whiskey Line on runway 28? Uh, is, there a is there anyone? There's a guy there. T Lamp. Uh, let me just double check that. I don't want to go on the runway while he's uh, landing. Just double check. This is for I know. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. And I didn't hear anything of frequency. Let's put the packs off. Even then we'll be out there in a minute. Zero traffic, uh, Swiss Air 79 Whiskey taking off runway uh, 28, zero. Yeah, nobody's uh, saying anything, and I don't see anything at the moment. Should be alright. We will be out of here in a minute anyway, so it's not too, too much of a worry. Brilliant. Okay, so. We can... Line up like that. Sorry, traffic. So, two, one, and three starting the to Stuart. I have no idea what he just said. Hello, it's Norman. Hello, Norman. It's Kevin Secure for takeoff. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we'll reset that. Till it disconnected. And we'll go 50%. Pitch down. Lamflex 56 SRS runway, also for us. There's 80, that's the pressure. Keep your seatbelt fastened while the seatbelt sign is on. We recommend that you keep your seatbelt. There we go. Bring flaps one. Full details can be found in your in flight.
Kubrick uh, directed the Great Game. Just like that. And we'll uh, switch it from initial climb straight up to cruise which you can see on the side of the climb um, comes in now. And there we go. Let's pilot there. Uh, put this on the performance page, just like to see kind of when certain things are happening. Uh, <sighs> Nearly there. Zoom out. We are, as you can see from the rings, nearly 10 miles out. About seven and a half, eight, so. Brilliant. There's six thousand seven hundred. All is good, and there's seven thousand, so we can go stand the pressure now. And uh, there we go, we're on our climb. So uh, it's going to be about two hours now. Um, we'll, we'll be on the ground in Malaga. Um, should be a nice cruise, though. Uh, nice scenery. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're planning our arrival in probably about an hour and a half. So um, you should enjoy the cinematics, sit back, relax, and uh, I'll see you in about an hour and a half.
welcome back. We are just um, currently cruising uh, over, over Spain at the moment. We are 79 miles or 78 now uh, from top of drop, so we do need to get an arrival in. Um, I've just had a look, they're using 1 2 still, so ILS 1 2 Yankee. Be that to back, which uh, is that one. Via um, Vivas. Sorry, no, Tonsu, not my, not Vivas. Uh, let's plan. And uh, we'll have a quick look at that. It's looking quite nice. It's pretty simple. You just go around like that. Uh, we need to put in. Um, fix for the runway. So we can go fix info and we can do L E M G. Annoying click spots. L E M G runway 1 2. So 5 mile and then L E M G uh, 1 2. 10 mile. I've got a look at what that looks like. Because that arrival is really quite a lot. It goes through the mountains. But it's a very nice arrival. Okay, we can put that on arc. Uh, I need to check where this flight actually parked. Um, okay, so it parked on stand 68. Which means we want to make quite early on. So we'll use... Uh, we'll use auto brake low still. That'll be alright. Um... And then we come down here and we'll get the performance plugged in. So, QH. Uh, let me get the meta up, actually. Airports, LMG. So, the meta at the moment is. Where is it? There it is. QH is 1025. Temperature is currently 15 degrees. Winds are 110 at 9. And then the position altitude is 330. Um, transition flight level is 7,000. That is that. So our initial descent will take us. Uh, yeah, our initial descent will take us down to. Uh, I'm getting right uh, it takes us down to uh, 10,000 feet, um, and then we just follow the arrival round. Then down to seven zero. We'll catch the ILS and uh, go down. The, the ceiling is 4,500 feet, so and the visibility is great, so we should be alright. Um, but earlier today it was raining, I believe, so nice to see that the weather has changed. Anyway, I'll do the arrival and I will see you in a bit. Hello everyone, welcome back. We, um, oh, ATC came online, which was interesting. Um, and we've just been cleared for the ILS runway, well, we've actually just been cleared to land, for that matter. Uh, right, yep, um, so, I didn't get any of that, unfortunately. Um, but, yeah, we are currently 16 miles away. 2500. And we'll get some flaps down now. Actually, we'll go flaps once. We check. And the check will go around us. There we go. And there's the glide. So we'll put a. Uh, let's buy a two in. So it's quite. Uh, 
foggy or cloudy, shall I say. Can't really see too much. Uh, so a bit glitter light, so we'll just put the lights on now, even though uh, the gear's never dropped. Um, two, one, five is the command. So we'll go flaps two and over all the way till we hit that uh, 10 DMV rate. It's quite bumpy. Which uh, I kind of expected. Uh, you can just see the runway there. Runway 1-3. Flaps, uh, two now, speed chuck. Normally, this approach is very nice when it's not really cloudy, but uh, that's just what it is. Um, so we are currently 10 track miles. We'll drop the gear at about 7. As I said, uh, stand 68 is what we're all parked on. If they case it quite quickly, uh, hopefully we'll be able to get up quickly. 2000. I guess we'll see. Uh, yeah, we're really being thrown around a bit here, so I'm gonna get the gear down now. Gear down, speed check to flaps three. Well, this board is right as well. Our final approach speed is 138, which is what our current ground speed is. It is very bumpy. It's seven miles, it's about six. Speed check for flaps full. Um, using runway 13 though, that's. Um, oh yes, so we had a runway change, I forgot to mention that. Um, so originally, <coughs> as you remember, I planned runway 12. Uh, but as soon as I entered this guy's airspace, he said uh, about using runway 13. And that's what I got put on. So I had to change everything. Which does mean I think we are relatively well. I think it's about the same distance to our stand as it originally was. So I guess we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to take control now. So my aircraft. This could get quite interesting. 30 knots. These winds. It's a lot easier in an Airbus than in a Boeing. I must admit. Now about a 10 knot head, which is a lot 
Minus 186 on the landing rate, not too bad. Welcome to Malaga. Here's gate uh, 68, so we can bring the uh, lights off now. Put the bleed on, and uh, we'll swing on in to the stand. Malaga approach closed. Uh, so we need a cop now. This will be quieter. So the parking brake. Uh, APU bleeds already transfers and cuts off the engines. Two hours 29 block, which is a lot faster than uh, what Simbu said. The boarding. boarding. Put the uh, jetway there. Seatbelt's off now. And uh, we can come down here. ATC com, return, AOC. 
see. Uh, where is it? Flight time, 2 hours 16. That is... How much quicker is that? It's a bit, fa uh, bit not faster, uh, slower than it's meant to be. Uh, we'll get rid of the parking brake now. Um, as the jetway connects, we'll be able to use external power. Uh, we should be able to anyway. There you go, Valance has uh, ended the fight. As I said, minus 186, which considering the conditions, I will happily take. There we go. And the jetway uh, has given us external power, which means we can get rid of the APU now. There we go. That's another successful flight done. That was a really fun one, that. Uh, it wasn't too long, actually. Went by quite quickly. Um, Landing was very interesting. I knew it would be windy, but um, certainly, m maybe not to that degree. But uh, yeah, it was good fun, and I was pretty ha happy with the landing rate. All things considered. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Uh, not sure what I'm going to do in the next video. I guess we'll have to wait and see. And uh, until next time. soon.